show me a believer who is trained by the spirit to capture this i show you a mighty tool a mighty end time tool praise the name of the lord praise the name of jesus you're welcome back to our channel you channel in this video apostle joshua selman spoke exhaustively on the spirit that gives life and i bet you you wouldn't want to be told about this it would be much better you listen and partake by yourself so whilst you do that kindly hit the like button subscribe to our channel and also share this video because you are actually going to be blessing someone's life by sharing this video stay tuned dependent of men it's in partnership with men that the life-giving ministry of the spirit as a river flows so the bible says listen very carefully that the first adam the first adam was made that should be first corinthians 15 45 the first adam was made a living soul are we together and the second adam is a life giving spirit everybody say that after me life giving spirit i told you that the life god has given the believer today is not the same life adam had no adam was not a life-giving spirit he was a living soul man today in christ is a life-giving spirit jesus said as my father has sent me he says so send i you say i am a life-giving spirit say it convincingly i am a life-giving spirit that means my assignment is to become that vessel that allows the river to flow so when you become that vessel you have given the holy spirit space to flow to the nations now he can send you to anywhere knowing that he has found a worthy channel to flow his life he can instruct you to put a healing meeting and you can tell someone like peter and john i come in the name of the lord rise up and walk and it, it looks like it is your hand but it was just a channel allowing the power of God to flow Jesus said virtue had gone out of me the reason why you see the things that we study here remain as parables and we keep debating them is that is the consequence of graduating ourselves without allowing the Holy Spirit to build us it will make what looks here become too real for us to believe it it will look like it is a lie the Bible says the things that are written are for time, that they are for our learning, so that we through the comfort and patience of scripture might find hope. Every recorded miracle in the Bible is to stimulate you towards that end, life. I believe with all my heart, Pastor, that before Jesus returns, that there is a generation that will align themselves by the mercies of God that we will become such worthy host not talkers of it demonstrators of it that men will stand as nations you will become as a dam as a person and God will flow through you look at the problems that plague our world and yet the church keeps saying we are light it is true we are light but we are light that is not working you know, many times in the place of prayer, I cry unto God and I say, God, walk on us. Walk on us. Open our eyes to see the standard you have set for us and how far short of it we have come. This should not condemn us. This should inspire us. We have done well, but the journey is still far. Let's be careful as we clap for ourselves too much. Because a student who got 30 as the highest score still failed is just that he's the highest among other lazy students. So we need to be careful so that we don't over pamper ourselves. You may score 30, but A is 75, not 30. So the Bible says, awake thou that sleepest. Awake. There is a body of light you need to have to rise. Look at, for instance, the healing ministry. Do you know? Honestly, maybe it's my personal submission. And let me say this. If the healing power of God actually flows through us today like it did in the 60s and the 70s, I assure you by the mercies of God, most people that die today would not have died. 
it is a deficiency of our training we have misrepresented the power of god through our ill preparedness laced with pride i'm not i'm not insulting you i'm challenging you this is a conference this is the implication of the river flowing i have a few videos of men and women by the spirit of god who walked upon the earth i have rare videos of their crusades unedited and sometimes i'm in tears as i'm watching what kind of investment did god make in men like this nothing stage managed this were the mystery of godliness that god can indwell men and demonstrate his possibilities through men today we talk too much we talk too much it's not an insult take it as a prophetic advice we talk too much let's go back to the school of the spirit there is still a purging there is still a walking the nations is not interested in who is shouting at our meetings they are looking for real results transcontinental results by this time tomorrow results the woman at the well dimension of results the madman of gadara results we claim intimacy yet it has not solved any national problem we need to go back to our drawing board are we together now the bible says let your light so shine before men now i'm not saying this to condemn i'm challenging us this is this is a believer meeting it's not a crusade i will not say this on a crusade ground i'm saying this because we are matured believers thank god for what we have done but let's not pamper ourselves too much this is not a tell them oh include the person talking to you we need to go back to the school of the spirit and say lord thank you for what you have done but the standard is still far with great power gave the witnesses the apostles witness of the resurrection you want to see how the power of god worked watch the book of acts and see a spectacular display of the power of god handkerchiefs and aprons came from the body of the apostles how about the wisdom of god investigate the life of daniel investigate the life of joseph and see the wisdom of the spirit at work investigate the life of jacob how wisdom translates to abundance that laban had to go and consult with sorcery by what technology is this man multiplying things no disadvantage worked for him i'm sharing my contemplations how about the nature of christ you see let me tell you this the holiness of god is a nature but is enhanced by the presence of certain possibilities if you are financially comfortable it has a way of immuning you against compromise if you are excessively poor you will tell lies you will steal and you will compromise not because you are bad is the side effect of that state so when god really wants to help you to walk in righteousness he gives you all the auxiliary support systems if i am not hungry you can't tempt me with food so when god really wants me to stay and not eat of pharaoh's table he has a way of routing a supply that makes me happy and comfortable a god that leaves you in hunger with food around you and says don't eat sounds like a wicked god so we need to redefine this god we have presented to the world our proposal has been rejected because the Jesus we are selling to the nations is not complete. Thank you for watching. We hope you've been blessed. Don't forget to subscribe for more of our videos update.